tutorial on your Bicep Pro Clean. Okay, so this is basically to wash your carpet. Um, I'm gonna teach you some really basics right now. Now, first of all, your hot water will go in here, okay? So to, to pull it out, you just kind of snap it out, and that's about it, okay? Your hot water, okay, we need to open this up. So we're just gonna lift this up, okay? Now this comes out, just like that. Your hot water will go right in there. It actually tells you right there on the side that your hot water will go there. Okay, so just fill it up. Once you're done with that, don't forget your bicep solution. Your cleaning solution will go somewhere else. Okay, don't forget to snap this back in. Okay, remember this has to go like that. Okay, so it has to fit nice and tight. Once you've got that down, just put it on top. Okay, and lock it into place. You basically just put it on top and that's it. So it's pretty easy to set up. Um, now your cleaning solution is back here. Okay, so here's your tank. Your solution would be color yellow. So all you have to do is pull it out. Okay, and your solution will go there. So just unscrew that and put your solution there. It'll tell you up to where you should go. Um, the one that I'm using right now is a little bit different, so it's more like water. Well, it looks like water, um, but yours should be yellowish. Okay, I would only use the yellowish one at first, and I would always mix it a little bit with water. Okay, actually a lot, 50-50, with water, hot water again. Um, but that's up to you. You can just put it nice and pure there. Now, um, your hot water, make sure to go in there. Now, once you turn it on, um, your setting. Okay, I wouldn't use the water rinse. I don't really see a need for that, but if you need to rinse it a little bit water, just do that. Um, other than that, your heater, that'll just make your hot, your water hot, so it does help in the drying process a little bit, but um, at the same time, you are putting out more water. So it's kinda, uh, if you want to or not, okay? I don't usually use it. Um, I did use it before just to kinda help it dry, but it depends on your day, okay? Um, anyways, other than that, just a uh, normal clean should be good. You turn it on, okay, once you turn it on, I'm not gonna turn it on right now because you guys won't hear what I'm saying, but once it's turned on, you just press on this lever right here. This will make your vacuum go back just like any vacuum. It'll just lean back. Once it's leaned back, then you can press on this, okay? Once you press on this, okay, that's gonna make the water come out and your solution. So water and solution will come out as soon as you press this. So your first step in order to wash this is actually to press on this, go about, clean a little bit, and then let go of it, and then just roll it back and forth in order to suction all the water from your floor. Now don't worry if it doesn't suction too much, it doesn't do that. Um, now something that you will see, once you clean your floor, it's something like this, you'll see that and you'll see spots like that. That's normal. Um, you will also see some dirt coming out that this will not suction, okay? Uh, the dirt that you'll see is something that looks like this. Okay, now you might see a lot of that actually if it's your first time doing it. Don't worry about that. This will not suction that, so you have to take that, you know, with your hands. It's uh, just dirt. So that's basically it for this tutorial. As you can see, it's very easy to use. Um, if you guys want to use this, the tools, okay? Um, remember, to clean your floor, the setting has to be here. If you want to use the, your tools, just move this right there, and that's for your tools. Then you just turn it on, normal clean, and then just place your tools, okay? You have this tool where you can use your brush. Once again, it's the same basics as this. Just use your brush first and then suction. Okay, it's not that good of a deal to clean with this, but it's something, okay? Um, so it's the basic same technique that you're using for this in order to use that, okay? So that's pretty much it for this. Now I'll give you a, a little tutorial of how that looks like once I got it working, okay? So I'm just gonna turn it on.
Okay guys, so let's say we're done cleaning, um, we're done with all that, and you want to take out the dirty water. Same thing, you just pull this out. Once you pull it out, all you have to do is snap this again. All your dirty water is actually out. You will see it on your edge, so it's right there. That's dirty, inside it's clean. Take it all out. Um, so once you're done, you should always take it all out and try to clean this up a little bit. But other than that, it's really basic. If you guys have any questions, comments about this, um, please leave them here below. Don't forget, this shouldn't look like that. You should always snap it in, in place, and then Okay, so once again, if you guys have any questions, comments about this vacuum or any other vacuum, just uh, leave me in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.